Hey guys, Guys Partners with Games here, and today we have a bit of a different thing. So the Thanksgiving mood, you know, I've been cooking, doing things like that, and I've realized something. You know, I was drinking a LaCroix, and I thought, well, what's inside one of these? It says, as you can see there, if my camera focuses, it says uh, natural flavor. But, you know, what is a natural flavor? It's like orange or something? So what we're going to be doing today is boiling down a LaCroix. At least something. I also want to drink some. Nice. Alright. Let's see what happens. Get some light going. So yeah, I'll be back once it starts really boiling. Uh, talk to you in a bit. One thing that is pretty interesting that's happening is you can see that the CO2 bubbles in the LaCroix, which make it carbonated, of course, seems to be coming out at a faster rate. Now, I think that's actually due to Izzy. That food's not for you. But uh, I think that's actually due to because due to how they put in the car carbon dioxide, which don't quote me here, but I believe it's actually um, shoot, it's an exothermic reaction. Which means, um, which is chemistry, and it's equilibrium. So, the so the products in here are water, CO2, and the flavoring. That is a that's an equilibrium reaction with Lacroix and then CO2 and then heat. Okay, that's why you have to cool down beverages, and that's why when you cool down carbonated beverages, the CO2 lasts longer. So when you add heat, the equilibrium shifts. So this white side will be more powerful. Will shift over here to get the CO2 to get the CO2 out of the drink, and that's why I believe the CO2 is coming out. As you can see here, the water is—it's not really boiling, which I do believe that might be boiling. I don't know, but you can definitely notice the CO2 bubbles. Out. All right, talk to you in a bit. It's been a little while longer now, and as you can see, pretty much all the CO2 is gone. We are getting some boiling around the edges there, and yeah, yeah. so you'll write out the reaction. Bit. I think I'm wrong. But there's pretty interesting chemistry going on. So give me a sec, we'll be back and I'll explain that. So yeah. Alright, so here we have the reaction. Um, this is what I'm guessing it, it is. It's what would make sense because, it, because the heat causes the CO2 to come out of solution. So, um, here's what I think. So I think the flavors like citric acid are combined with H2O and CO2. That forms the equilibrium reaction. That means that this side will turn into LaCroix, but at an equal rate. LaCroix and heat. Now when I add heat, when this when the heat goes up, that means this side is greater. Because it's equilibrium reaction, if you have one side greater, the other side has to go down. So, or this, sorry, this when you get one side being larger, this side also has to get larger. And that would mean that this CO2 concentration would have to go up, and because CO2 is lighter and it's a gas, then both of this stuff, it's gonna come out of solution. At least that's my guess. This why, ooh, take this why you don't see any CO2 bubbles here. You can see all the bubbles are originating, i right, trying to zoom in here, from the bottom of the pan. So yeah, I just thought that's pretty neat to explain the chemistry behind why adding heat causes beverages to go flat, you know, that's why you, if you want to keep something like a soda or LaCroix uh, carbonated, you would stick it in the fridge. Anyway, I've turned down the heat a little bit from the sort of full power boil down a little bit because I don't want the, I do not want the actual flavoring to boil off too. I'm being pretty careful about that because, you know, then it would be kind of a waste of LaCroix, right? So yeah, uh, I'll be back once I have most of the water boiled off. Alright, so I pretty much almost have it boiled down completely, and, yeah. It seems to be a little thicker, not by much though. Um, just try to boil it all down and see how that goes. Ooh, hello there. Things actually like you that the flavoring, from what I can tell, because I would expect there to be a little more flavor, flavoring, right? I'm just gonna set this over here and turn off this. And just sort of let that kind of boil off by some on its own heat. 
Let me go find a bowl to pour this into. I'll be right back. So I, I can't really boil, boil it out so well because if I pour it, it boils, right? But that little, yeah, let me pour it for myself. So. That little wet sliver right there, that's what's in a little croy can. So if I can't, yeah. Looked out, now it's all boiled out and we've got those sugar in there. It seems like a sugar or a salt based cover or something. Which is pretty weird. Take a look at this. So as you can see by me scraping it, you know, there's definitely something there. Yeah, so that's what's in LaCroix. This little salt based substance. Or like salt looking sugar, something like that. Well, thanks for watching. Sky's Projects and Games, and I'm done here.